Sticky tar balls are littering the sand along Huntington Beach tonight and an investigation is underway into an oil spill offshore. A miles long slick was spotted just before seven o'clock last night. This morning, the Coast Guard launched an investigation into the source of the spill. Mary Beth McDade in Huntington Beach tonight with what we're learning MB. Yes, and Mike and Jared, the Coast Guard says that they are going to be testing that oil to determine the source. And we spoke with Orange County Supervisor Katrina Foley, who says they expect to have the results back by Monday. Once a 2.5 mile long oil sheen was spotted a few miles off the Huntington Beach coast, oil spill response crews went to work. We got right on it and the Coast Guard got out there, put up some booms, put uh, skimmers out there, a barge. They've got it contained. Contained and after using two skimming vessels and a storage barge, mostly cleaned up. The Coast Guard says they're 85% done with the cleanup and they've recovered about 85 gallons of oil. Now we're working on making sure that the tar balls that are happening, uh, you know, that are being deposited onto the beach side, that those get cleaned up. Probably that'll happen in the morning. We came across several people and pets that came into contact with some of those tar balls on the beach Friday. I got tar on me like maybe like an hour ago. Haley Hendricks got it on both feet. So I got it like all over my foot. Um, it was actually bigger. I scraped it off with like a shell and some rocks and then I got it like on my fingers. This woman's pet got them on its paws. She's never gotten it on her paws. And the person that just left before me, her dog's two front paws like were covered in it. Supervisor Foley says there's still a bit of confusion as to the source of the oil spill. The Coast Guard says it was reported Thursday night around 630 near an oil platform called Emmy. So we got to get the full story. Everyone needs to get it clarified. You know, who filed the report and when and then uh, what caused this and what can we do to prevent it in the future? Yeah, that obviously very important. Now, the Coast Guard says that one oiled grebe bird was recovered today. Foley tells us that more oil is expected to wash up on the coast overnight and crews are expected to be out there in the morning cleaning up the shoreline. For now, reporting live here in Huntington Beach, Mary Beth McDade. I'll send back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. If you're